Hi everyone, this is Karen from the Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. This month is March in the year of 2021, and we're going to talk a little bit about women's history, since it is Women's History Month. Now, some of you may know the name Anna Morris Holstein. She is one of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania's most historic women to date. And she was born in Lycoming County, Pennsylvania, not too far away from Monco, on April 9th, 1825. Now, Anna is most well known for her work during the Civil War. She became a prominent Civil War nurse after the Battle of Antietam. So Anna's husband, William H. Holstein, he served a 90-day enlistment in the Civil War for the Union Army. And when he came home after his 90-day enlistment, he described what he saw to his wife, Anna. And he was describing basically men laying in fields and barns, being untreated for their wounds because there simply were not enough people in the medical corps to treat them. So after hearing what her husband described on the battlefield, Anna and her husband both decided that it was their duty to go and help the Medical Corps and the U.S. Sanitation Commission to help take care of these wounded soldiers. So after the Battle of Antietam, both Anna and her husband went to Sharpsburg, which is near Antietam, to help treat the soldiers there. And after the Battle of Gettysburg, Anna was then sent to Camp Letterman on York Road to help treat the men there. And she ended up staying in that area until after the war. After the Battle of Gettysburg, with Anna still being stationed at that location while the war was still going on, she actually wrote back to women she knew in Montgomery County stating how she thought it would be a good idea for them to make a giant American flag to fly over the battlefield. And to this day, the Gettysburg Foundation actually does have a flag that was made by Montgomery County women it's estimated to be roughly 25 feet long, so it's a very big flag. And when it arrived in Gettysburg, uh, Anna Morris Holstein had them raise it above Big Round Top. And according to various accounts in local newspapers, it is believed that that flag was actually flying over Big Round Top while Abraham Lincoln was giving his famous Gettysburg Address. In addition to Anna's service during the Civil War, she's also well known for the beginning the process of preserving uh, Valley Forge National Park. In 1887 is when we first see documents of Anna actually going out and soliciting donations to help preserve Washington's headquarters at the park. And on December 18th, 1893, the Valley Forge DAR chapter named Holstein as their regent and then the DAR got involved in trying to preserve Valley Forge as well. Once the DAR got involved, they, as well as Chester County and Marion DAR chapters, all three of those chapters of the DAR did come together at various points in time to help raise money to furnish and preserve Washington's headquarters at Valley Forge. So after years of soliciting donations and raising awareness about preserving the Valley Forge site, Anna struggled many times to get state, federal, or local funding to help preserve the site. 
but her efforts did pay off because in 1893, Valley Forge became Pennsylvania's very first state park. And when the state designated Valley Forge as a state park, they did give much of the credit to Anne Holstein because of her efforts to not only preserve Washington's headquarters, but to raise money to purchase lands where the army was known to have been encamped, as well as bringing groups together to to help preserve this historic site. Anna died shortly after uh, Valley Forge was designated as a state park. Uh, she died on December 31st in 1900. She is buried at Old Swedes Christ Church Cemetery. The house she lived in in King of Prussia still stands to this day. It's at 211 Henderson Road. And in fact, this year, uh, the state of Pennsylvania just announced that they are going to be putting up a new historical marker for Anna Morris Holstein. So at the Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, we actually have a few things in our collection that were used by Anna Holstein. And one of the things we have is a folding camp chair that is believed to have been used by her during the Civil War. This chair was made by Abe Coates of Bridgeport. We also have a number of personal letters that were written by Anna to various friends and family members, which are stored in our archives at the Historical Society. Funding for this video has been provided by the Pennsylvania Humanities Council and the National Endowment for the Humanities as part of the Coronavirus Relief and Economic Security Act of 2020.